Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Christy. Today we're going to discuss my grocery haul and meal plan. Let's go over just a few things really quick. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. That name will be down here and in the description box below because I do sneak peeks, <laughs> family pics, and um, also little videos of like things, you know, the renovation that we have going on in my office, just stuff like that. But this week's meal plan and grocery haul consists of a $50 budget. The people that are included in this meal are me, Kerrigan, my 17 year old, and Briley, my 10 year old. If you have missed out on a few things on my channel, Preston, my almost 23 year old son, recently moved out in January. So he is no longer here to meal plan for. And Chris recently also went out of town and is working in DC. So it is just the three girls and that means we are back to sticking on a budget so that we can save some money while Chris is working. So let's go ahead and go over the things I bought and then we'll talk about the meal plan for the week. This is my Aldi grocery store and I was going to show you guys I have a little place right here and this is where I keep my quarter for my carts. Okay, let's go in. Okay, here is my grocery haul for this week. Like I said previously, it is from Aldi. Side note, do you guys say Aldi or do you say Aldi? I want to say Aldi because it's A-L. But Aldi sounds better, so <laughs> tell me in the comments below how you say it. I'm going to start off with a few things that I have picked up that did not come from Aldi. Um, I did pick up a loaf of bread at Dollar Tree, and I had to stop by Kroger's and pick up a few things. They're having their 5 for 5 sale, or 5 off 5 sale this week, and I had to pick up a few items plus get my freebie. So my Friday freebie was this queso, it's cheese, and you know we are cheese obsessed, so I had to go ahead and pick that up. Come here. And um, I wanted to get, I do have to pack Briley's lunch a few times this week, and they had their um, gummies, the 10 pack for only 99 cents. And this Epic Bar, which does not want to focus, this is the Chicken Sriracha. It's like, um gosh, like a jerky kind of bar and it's a protein bar. They were free this week too. They were at like 99 cents and the dollar off coupon that's a digital. So I wanted to show those few things first that I'd picked up that did not come from there. This is all we have left cheese wise. Some regular cheese slices and some whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. Gotta fill this baby back up. Okay, let's start with the cheeses. Again, cheese obsessed. So I picked up some Swiss and some provolone. These are both sliced and these will be for wraps that we make this week. Picked up some Parmesan and some mozzarella and some Mexican style shredded cheeses. And then just one thing of cream cheese. We were completely out of cheeses and we cannot have that in this house. I picked up a gallon of milk and also some of Briley's favorite. This is the Aldi brand of Fruit Loops. And since there's no artificial flavors, no artificial dyes, no artificial anything, um, she does better on these. On the ones that are Fruit Loops, she'll break out sometimes. Picked up one dozen eggs. And then the produce was a little lacking this week. I did pick up a bag of Gala apples. We go through a lot of apples a week. Briley will eat at least one a day. So I'll cut it up for her and she'll dip it in peanut butter. That's one of her favorite snacks. I also picked up, oh, well, watch me. Uh, I also picked up just one mango. Our neighbors had picked up some of these, and I've never picked up one like this, the fresh mango. So I thought I'd go ahead and try it, because Kerrigan loves mango, her and Chris both. Me, not so much. Only one avocado this week for uh, some sandwich wraps we're going to do. And then I picked up a thing of the zucchini. This is the three-pack thing of steamable asparagus. 
And I also picked up one of the tropical fruit cups. These have zero sugar added and they're only 70 calories. And you get four of these. And Kerrigan likes to put these in her lunch boxes. So I picked up the tropical fruit this time for her. Okay, meat wise, I picked up another package of the garlic and herb seasoned chicken breasts. We love these, they're versatile, we can make them with anything. Um, so I went ahead and picked up another one of those. I think I have a bag still in the freezer that has two in it. Also picked up another thing of the turkey pepperonis. We absolutely adore turkey pepperoni. And I picked these up about two or three weeks ago. And these are the Italian chicken sausages. And these are the never any. So there's no nitrates, no hormones, no things like that in them. You get four of these. They were on sale this week, I think, for $1.79. And they're only 140 calories a link. These were delicious. So I went ahead and picked up another one of those. Um, me and Kerrigan and Briley will eat on those. And I picked up a thing of the frozen ground turkey for some Parmesan. No, no, no. What did I pick these up for? I'm not sure, but it was on my list <laughs> to get some kind of ground meat. So that's usually their turkey beef or chicken for us. Wanted to go ahead and try the turkey this time because I've never picked this up there before. And the only snack items I got this week, I know this is odd, but Briley snacks on these all the time next door and these are the oyster crackers. So I went ahead and picked up a thing of those. And I also picked up some of the Clancy's hot and spicy pork rinds and they are spicy. You can see I've already got into them on the way home. I needed a snack. Um, these are really good. They're only 79 cents. And the last food item that I picked up this week was the Fit and Active Ranch Dressing. I wanted to have an extra here. Now, the two items that I picked up while I was there that are not <laughs> foods, <laughs> hopefully we won't be eating these, are paper plates and paper bowls. I've never tried these before. It says they're comparable to the Dixie brand. They're called Boulder. In this one, you get 45, and in this one, you get 24. Again, since it's just me and Briley and Kerrigan here right now, um, I hate running the dishwasher every night. And this is the main thing that we go through is pretty much plates and bowls. So these were only like a dollar something and change each. So I wanted to give these a try. These would be cheaper in the long run buying these every two weeks than it would be running the dishwasher every single night. So I wanted to give these a try and see how sturdy they are. Okay, I'm sitting here having lunch. My mother made vegetable soup, so I'm letting that cool. We'll go over my meal plan for this week, but I wanted to do a recap really quick so that you guys would know what we ate last week. I made the jalapeno popper chicken casserole and it was a huge hit. Kerrigan loved it. We had that two nights. We had salads one night. We also had the Purdue chicken nuggets one night. And Saturday didn't go like we had planned. It went even better. We went next door, had game night, and had dinner there. And of course, our Sunday free-for-all. So this is my meal plan for Monday the 25th through March 3rd. So on Monday, we're having turkey lettuce wraps. So it'll be turkey BLT, lettuce wraps, and fruit. On Tuesday, I'm making chicken Parmesan zucchini boats with broccoli and cheese, and I'll probably throw a fruit in there for dessert. And then on Wednesday, we're just gonna have the um, leftovers. Wednesday is a really busy day. Kerrigan has some stuff after school. And so does Briley. So Wednesdays is always our most hectic day. So I try to do leftovers or cook early in the day on that day. On Thursday, we're having low carb Big Mac bowls. So we're excited about those, or at least I am. And then on Friday, I'm going to do a crock pot chicken fajita soup. And we'll have those leftovers on Sunday. On Saturday, we're also doing game night again this week next door, and that's our neighbors. They're like family. They usually cook for us, and we do dessert, and then we play games all night. We've been doing this for months now. 
So that is our plan for the 25th through the 3rd. I just wanted to thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We are a really tight knit community here and I love to chit chat with you all. So make sure you comment below so that we can talk. I do Dollar Tree hauls and Dollar Tree DIYs and occasionally I'll throw in some other things. So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope everyone has an amazing week. Bye.